Welcome to Hoffmann Photography. My name is Rainer. I'm a photographer and photo instructor. Back in the 1990s, we had to convert our digital images to CMYK before we could get them printed, offset printed, that is. But that was in the 20th century. If your print shop still asks for CMYK files, find another one who has arrived in the 21st century. Here is why. All the colors in our digital images are mixed from the three primary colors, red, green and blue, or short RGB, the colors of light. If you're not familiar with the RGB color system, you should perhaps first watch my video Red, Green and Blue – Primary Colors in Digital Photography first. Link is in the description. Now, if we want to print our images, then obviously we can't use light. We have to use inks. That's where CMYK comes in. CMYK stands for Cyan, Magenta, Yellow and Black. Black is the key color, hence K. But that's another story. Cyan, magenta and yellow are the primary colors from which all other colors can be mixed when we use inks to print on paper. So at some point RGB colors indeed have to be converted to CMYK. Note that I said RGB colors must be converted. I didn't say that RGB files have to be converted. That's an important difference. In a color managed environment, there is no need to convert the files. Actually, it's counterproductive because there are so many different ways to convert RGB to CMYK depending on the printer and perhaps even more important on the paper that is used for printing. For example, if the image is to be printed on glossy paper, the RGB to CMYK conversion is quite different from a conversion for a matte paper. One of the main differences, but by no means the only one, is the total area coverage or the maximum amount of ink that a paper can hold. In traditional four color offset printing, theoretically, each of the four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow and black, could have an area coverage of 100%. In total, that would amount to, a top, to an area coverage of 400%. In practice, that would be much more ink than the paper could hold. How much ink a paper can hold depends on several factors, but in a nutshell, it can be said that glossy papers can hold about 340% ink, while matte papers are limited to 300% or even less. This and many more parameters have to be taken into account when RGB colors are converted to CMYK. In the days before color management, we had indeed to take care of all these parameters manually and actually convert the RGB files accordingly. Now imagine your customer wanted to print on glossy paper and you converted all the images in a document accordingly. Three days before the document went to press, the customer changed her mind and now wanted to have the document printed on matte paper. Then it was back to the drawing board and you had to convert all the images a second time. Happened to me more than once. But no more. These days all the files remain in RGB and the conversion into CMYK is done at the moment of printing itself. So-called ICC profiles take care of all the necessary parameters for the conversion. Let's see how it works in practice. If we want to print this image, we simply have to select the correct ICC profile for the printer and the paper. Let's say we want to print on a four-color offset printing press on coated paper. Then we could select, for example, Euroscale Coated V2. That's a generic print profile for standard inks used in Europe for offset printing on coated papers. In this window, we see the ink amount or area coverage of the four inks 
and the total area coverage. When I move the cursor around in the image, we can see the total area coverage for the different parts of the image. If I tick the box Total Area Coverage, then all parts of the image where the total area coverage is greater than 300% are highlighted in green. For coated papers, this is not a problem because they can hold about 340% of ink. But if I were to print this image on uncoated matte paper, I would get into trouble because there would be too much ink on the paper in the highlighted areas. But if I now choose the correct profile for a matte uncoated paper, for example Euroscale uncoated V2, the highlighted areas vanish because the profile, apart from many other things, automatically limits the total area coverage to 300%. Problem solved, no need to convert the file itself. Note that this is not the actual selection of an ICC profile, but just a simulation of what happens during conversion with different profiles. The actual selection of the profile is done in the print dialog of the application from which the image is printed. If you are printing yourself, for example on your inkjet printer, then of course you are responsible for selecting the correct profile. If you're using a local or online print service, then they will do the job for you. However, you should have the correct profile installed on your system for soft proofing. But soft proofing is a topic for another video. I hope this helped and as always, thanks for watching.